And with that guys, we are off LP number 1 Redly Duff here. Are you guys ready for Pokemon Emerald version? I sure am. Let's get right into it. New game. Here we have the professor. I'll read his text. Oh, oh, hello there. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. That's what we call a low tech bitch. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle other like us. Others like us. But despite our col closeness, oh my god, we don't know anything, everything about Pokemon. Sorry guys. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Are you a boy or a girl? Here we have Mei, who's a protagonist from the anime. And here we have some random guy. Uh, I just want to say something quickly. I'm pretty sure this guy's also from the anime, but... I... How does Birch not know for a guy or a girl? Can he see us? We'll go for a boy because I'm a guy. Alright, what's your name? Uh, let's see. I'll just fill in. Wait. There we go. There we go. Yes, my name is Redley. Ah, okay. You're Redley. Who's moving to my hometown of Little Root? I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. So, our Pokemon adventure begins, guys. Are you excited? I am mega excited. Love Pokemon Emerald. Ready to do it. I'm gonna have an orgasm soon, but oh my god, it'll be so cool. Luckily, I have this, which makes me go mega fast if I press space, because I'm playing on an emulator. Yes, I do own the original game. First of all, Mom. Bradley, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Is that even legal? child abuse. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Redley. Let's go inside. See, Redley, isn't it nice to the movies, Pokemon, do all the work of moving us and cleaning up after? This is so convenient. Redley, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark your new move here. Don't forget to set it. Um, real quick here, in the other games, these would be Machoke, but now they're Vigoroths. Vigoroths, I don't know. Here we have, it's a Nintendo GameCube, a game, a game where Advance is connected to, the, um, to serve as the controller. It's clearly a GameCube controller, but I guess they just want to represent it like, actually I don't know what to say. Little trick here, we can get one portion from the um, computer right as we start, and as mommy said, we're gonna set the clock. I'll do it real time, so... Oh wait, no. Back, back. Um... Uh, be, 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 there we go. Bradley, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything downstairs too. A Pokemon wash is so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all on your desk. Oh yeah, that's supposed to hitch into the potion, I believe. Oh, Bradley, really good. Look, look, it's a Petalbert Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report in front of Petalbert Gym. 
Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him too bad. Oh, yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch, he lives right next to the door, so you should go visit over, visit him. So this just gave us a hint. Pedal for gym. Gyms are what you, um, you need gyms for badges. You need badges for the Pokemon League. But I'll explain more once we get to the first gym. And our dad is has something to do with this gym. Here we have a woman. Oh, hello, and you are... Oh, you're Redly, our new next door neighbor. Hi, from a bunch of dots. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter's upstairs, I think. She doesn't even know where her daughter is. Wow, great mom. She's clearly not upstairs, and here she has a an orange. Here we have a Pokemon. Huh? Who are you? Oh, you're Redly, so your move was today. Oh, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I have it. I I heard about you, Redly, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Redly, Redly, and that we keep, keep fluid. Oh, I can't talk anymore. Let me try again. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? Uh, I've met you. I've just met you, Redly. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Redly, I'll catch you later. I see what she did there. Wait, wasn't she supposed to help her dad watch you go to the computer? Well, let's go ahead this way. Oh, look, a little girl. How cute. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on. Can you go see what's happening for me? We'll go check it out. Help me! Um. Wh where are you going? Don't leave me like this. Okay, so, um. Uh, this is Professor Bird. She's getting attacked by Pokemon. We have three Pokemon to start off. Oh, fuck! Guess which Pokemon I'm choosing. So intended. Actually, it really wasn't. Actually, I was kind of scared because um, I had no idea which Pokemon to take. But basically, wait, first, Birch. Whoo! I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Hi, you're Redly. This is not the place to chat, so come to my Pokemon Live, won't you? Professor Birch. So, Redly, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. By the way, you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, this thanks for asking me. I'd like you to have a Pokemon you just have a little bit. We shall name it. Um Let me think. No. Hmm. This is hard. We shall name it. I don't know why, but this name just came to my head. Now, before I continue, there's two other Pokemon. Torchic, a fire type, which, which turns into a fire fighting type. At later levels, we also have Mudkip, the mudfish Pokemon, which is water and ground type. And Trico is the only um, pure type in this thing, in this uh, jet, this game. Uh, one more thing before I continue as well. Usually, um, grass types are really slow, but Trico's evolution is one of the fastest grass types in the game in, of all time. If you won't, if you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Really? Don't you think it might be good to see May? Fuck that, we're going to see May. And now we can go here, Route 101. Are you guys ready? What's this guy have to say? Nothing interesting. Let's go through the wild grass. Oh, look! Whee! And we encountered our first Pokemon, a Wormhole. Um, guys, I'm gonna be trying to do something interesting in this uh, run. I'm gonna see if I can. Is, I'm going to see if I can catch a whole lot of Pokemon, like get really, really many Pokemon. And yeah, basically that's all I want to do. I'll have a set team. I'll just rest up, even though I had no damage done to me. Oh, or I won't. Um, I'm gonna catch a whole lot of Pokemon, but I'll have a set team. Who was this guy to say? Come to with me to the Pokemon Mart, and we obtain a free potion. Now, if we want to go out this way, oh wait, please don't come in here. I just discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I finish sketching, okay? So basically, we can't go through here yet, so we'll go up. Personally, um, from the three starter Pokemon, um, Trico is my favorite. Has this my favorite second evolution? We learned to absorb. Um, Trico is my favorite second evolution. Mudkip is my favorite first evolution, 
and Swampert or Blaziken are my favorite third evolution. Wait. Let's see if we can kill a Pokemon. Oh, Wingull! I always hate this as a kid because I found Wingull right in the beginning when I didn't have any Pokeballs, and then I never found him again. At this route, so I thought it would be impossible to get him. Okay, now we're at full HP. Let's go take on May. Let's see, the Pokemon found in room uh, 3 include. Oh, hi, Redly. Oh, wait. Oh, hi, Redly. Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick duel. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Here we find our rival, May. And she has the Torchic, which is another starter. Ooh, she is doing a lot of damage. But I beat her. We gained 69 experience. Oh, that's great, Redly. You're really good. I think I know my dad is not here for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon where that really looks like you. Likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Looks like you? <laughs> well, it's time to head back to the lab. Guess we'll be doing that as well. Then. Oh, there she is again. The first time we heal up. Because that was a rough duel. Oh, I love the speed up button. It makes it so much better. Oh, look, there she is. Redly, over here. Let's hurry home. Well, I got super speed, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, look, what's, th what's in this house, actually? Oh, the Pokemon lab. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, hi, Redly. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Redly. I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have it. This Pokedex. Blah, 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 And we got Pokeballs. So let's... See if Weegees can catch us some Pokemons. Here, our mommy gives us the running shoes, which we are completely useless to us because we can just do the speed up. So we no Pokemon really. Pugiana, okay. Let's do it. Uh, there we go. And that was how you catch a Pokemon. I shall call him. Yeah, I'll give all of my Pokemon which I catch a name, because it's just cool. Wait, where is it there? I wanna catch um two more Pokemon on this well in this area. This is not including Wingle because it might be really hard to find, but I'll see if I can find them. So see you guys in just a bit when I catch um, two to three more Pokemon. I'll show you guys what they were in a second. See you guys. Welcome back, everybody. I told you guys I will be catching some more Pokemons. I'll show you which ones we got. Rory. We got Slippy. We got Zigzag. And we got Flap. So basically, yeah, we got these Pokemon. We got um, five, four Pokemon, five Pokemon in all now. Right now, I stocked up into Pokeballs. Per ten Pokeballs, you get one Premier Ball. And I got myself some antidotes, and I have two potions. So let's continue. We can continue on here now. What does this guy have to tell us? I finished sketching the footprints of our rare Pokemon, but it turns out they were only my own footprints. Yeah, failed much. Whee! Uh, we got our first proper Pokemon duel outside of the. Uh, well, uh, not counting Maze duel. Here we go. Gonna finish this off. Come on, quickly. Yeah, he's not even gonna do damage to us. Dexter finished him off, no problem. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Dexter became Mega Buff. Oh, wait, what, what the hell am I doing? I mean, <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Ooh. There we go. Let's battle the next guy. Wee! And a critical hit instantly killed him. And what is this guy? Another war ball. Yeah, he. These guys don't stand a chance anymore. Dexter's too buff for them. Just look at it, I have to say. Oh no, ah, no one cares about the grass. Ooh, Pokemon. Ooh, look! Another Pokemon trainer. There's many Pokemon trainers. Come on. Oh, okay. Zigzagoon's a piece of cake. Ooh, Taylor, new Pokemon. 
if it uses pick, then it might actually do some damage. And they're already level 10. The speed up button is making everything so much better. Here we have some berries. They're not like in the previous games, where you have to like they're hidden and you have to find them. Here they're just in the open and you just collect them. There's a there is Lastiana. Damn. You know, I'm single. Okay, let's do this. Kill Zigzagoon, easy. Thanks for getting some XP. Shroomish, also new Pokemon. We'll be encountering it soon. Well, not in the battle, but catchable. And there is some Pokemon I want to catch on this route, so wait. I end up further. I end up furthering your career, I'm sure. First of all, go on potion. Okay, I'll catch the Pokemon I want to catch on this route. See you guys in a bit again. Yo, my dudes and dudettes, Nick is back. We're gonna go into Petalburg City. For you guys, it's been like less than a second for me. It's been about five minutes. I've been looking for Pokemons. Here is what I got. I got Esteban, the low Ted. The uh, reason why I call him Esteban because he is the biggest Mexican stereotype in the world. We're going to deposit Pokemon, we're going to deposit all this. I'm going to keep Zigzag because he has Item Finder as an ability. So basically, whenever you're walking, he might just randomly have an item and then you can just collect it. And we also call Blaine the Ralts. If you get why he's called Blaine, then go ahead, do whatever the hell you like, feel special. First of all, since our mommy talked to us about our dad being in the gym, we're gonna go straight into the gym, check it out. Who's this motherfucker? Hmm? It's our dad? Well, if it isn't Redley, so you're all finished moving in, I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see you're with your Pokemon. Hmm, then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Redley. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, I I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm? You're, uh, oh right, you're Wally, right? Yeah, I'm going to get, go stay with my relatives in Burn Turf Town. Yeah, changed his voice. I thought I'd be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before, I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Redley, you've heard that. Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches the Pokemon. Wally, oh Wally, here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Wally received the Zigzagoon. Oh, the bit of the bit of the bit of we're gonna go catch a Pokemon with him now. Redly become hiding the b the b the b the b Oh my god, I can't speak. How did he catch Rolf so fast? It took me five tries, he just got in a single one. Uh basically he's just gonna catch this Pokemon, he will always catch it. I was so jealous of him because he could like just call back his Pokemon, he could be there without his Pokemon. Which was only possible in the Safari Zone. I was like, dude the fuck. I did it! It's, it's my new Pokemon! Bradley, thank you! Let's go back to the gym! So, did it work out? Thank you! Oh, thank you! Yes, it did! Here's your Pokemon bag! Bradley, thank you for coming along with me! You you two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon! I promise I'll take really good care of it! Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go! Bye, Bradley! No! Bradley, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice! Head for Rustboro City beyond this thing! There, you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne! After her, go on to the ba da the ba da da Point is, we'll go to the next gyms. What do you guys really have to know? We'll go there, we'll head there, we'll have fun in the next episode. But for today, all the fun is over. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you guys on the next one.